Next question is explain about the infrastructure setup of your project. This can be a follow up question from the previous question. The interviewer might even skip asking you the architecture of your RPA tool and directly ask you this question. So to answer this question, first you have to explain the eye level architecture of your RPA tool which we saw in the previous question. The reason is obvious, you are using this RPA tool and you have to follow the same architecture for your project as well. There could be some minor changes like if your RPA tool architecture they would have suggested to go for an individual server for each environment but in your project you might have common server for development as well as the test environment. And in other cases you might have not installed any additional or optional components as well. These are acceptable. So after explaining about the eye level architecture, please explain about the number of environments we have in your project. It can be development, test, production and also how many servers you have and how many robots you have. Again an approximate count should be fine. It's not like when you give this number the, to the interviewer, the interviewer is going to cross check you on this count. But if you share this information, it will give a lot of confidence about you to the interviewer that you know your project infrastructure very well. This is what we are trying to achieve here. Also in some projects, they might have a deployment machine that is dedicated to do deployment activities only. So only this machine will have all the required accesses. So in case if you have one, you can mention it. Finally, in case if you are aware, you can also highlight about the licensing as well. The number of production robots and number of test robots that you have. This will also help you to score high on this question.